Ah, mini me. What did I say about bullying the other toys? What you got there? Marvel Contest of Champions Omega Sentinel. I like it, let's do it. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're sculpting Omega Sentinel from her appearance in Marvel Contest of Champions. Now, I've got this little action figure here and I'm gonna try to see how cool I can make mine look compared to this one, because this is really cool. So um, I'm gonna see if I can make mine look as cool. I'm, I plan on doing a flight pose. Initially I was gonna do an acrylic rod to where it looks like she was flying, but that idea didn't go so well, so um, I'm gonna just probably do a wooden pose to replicate the flight. And if you're here for the giveaway results, stay tuned to the end. And with that all being said, let's jump into the video. So, we're starting the sculpture off as we typically do with a nice little wire skeleton. I did this one slightly different as the arms connected to the upper body and then the legs connected to the upper body rather than it all being one big piece. And the reason for that is so I can do the head and attach the head to the body and work from there. And the face starts off looking a little kind of funky. Um, you can see that right here and then in the next shot it looks even worse. Yeah, that looks pretty bad, but I promise it gets rounded out and um, way better. And the reason I point that out is because like after, I think it's been about two years um, that I've been doing this, I started off and my faces looked atrocious. Like this one looks really good. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. But before they didn't look as well. And the reason I point that out is because I think anyone who wants to start getting into sculpting I would recommend doing it sooner than later because it's going to take longer to develop your uh, metaphorical toolkit so you can start um, honing your craft and getting better at stuff that you think you're slacking at. I knew I wanted to sculpt this character as soon as it was announced that she would be added to Marvel Contest of Champions. Um, that is a game that I play consistently, and I don't know too much about the character, if I'm being 100% honest. She just looks so cool. And it was a little intimidating um, when I was looking at all the reference pictures, all these mechanical looking parts, but after just adding stuff like slowly to it, it'll build up the look and um, she'll get to a place that I'm happy with. And right now I'm just adding all those details that I was referring to because that's all it really is. Like you start the base body, you add the base uh, layer of clay and then you just add details from there. Um, I find that it helps to add little bits so that way you're not taking off as much. Like, I can already tell from here, looking at the legs, that they're too thick. I'm gonna have to shave them down, which is what I'm doing in this step right here. It was also tricky working on her feet. So you saw how I did a little ball right there? Um, that's her ankles, and I added the feet in front and behind that. Now the reason that's tricky is because I wanna have her um, on a flight stand, and I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to tackle the problem of adding the rods from the base into her feet. Um, I tried a, a method, it failed, so then I tried something else which ended up working. And that was basically I ran an extra wire from the base into her foot and that worked uh, pretty well. Thank you. 
I've also been uh, looking into epoxy sculpt to expand my horizons when it comes to sculpting things. And the reason for that is because I don't want to use an air dry clay per se, but epoxy sculpt works the same way that an air dry clay would in the fact that if you leave it out long enough, it'll harden over time. This piece was also a nightmare for me to paint because as I mentioned in my Nimrod video, I don't like painting white projects and the reason is because white paint is so easy to mess up. I actually think I messed up a little bit on her calf region. I added a little bit too much shading, but you can always go back behind yourself and add more white. It's just once you mess it up, it's very difficult to uh, get back to a place where you were. Also, um, I kind of discovered a little bit late into painting with the airbrush that it was clogged, so I couldn't figure out why the paint was coming out so slow. My airbrush was clogged, so that was uh, fun. So always look out for that. Clean your airbrushes if you're using them. This project was also an opportunity to play with lighting. Um, it's very rough, but I think it's a good start. You can see here I'm painting um, the light areas, and then I go in with a little bit of watered down orange to kind of replicate a glowing effect. Um, <laughs> Y'all could tell me how I did. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I, I know I still have some work to do. Here's the Mod Podge, and we're about to roll some glamour shots. And that is my sculpture process of Omega Sentinel from Marvel Contest of Champions. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and comment. And if you really liked the video, subscribe. Uh, I've got similar content to this, so I can do this all day. Now, it's time for the giveaway. All right, everyone, so here's how this is gonna work. I've already got everyone's names into this will generator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this thing select four people, okay? From those four, it's going to pick one winner, and that's who wins the sculpture. Good luck to everyone that entered. If it was up to me, I would have one for every single one of you guys, but I'm only one person, so all right. The first person being placed into the runner-up position. is Chaz Velez. Okay. The second person to enter the runner-up position is Final FXR. The third person to enter a runner-up position is Kevin Hernandez. And the final and third spot goes to JX. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video, put these four into a thing, and the winner will be selected from there. 
All right, everyone, I've got all four of your names entered. I'm gonna spin it, and this will be the winner of Nimrod. There you have it. Congratulations, Final FXR, you won Nimrod! Congratulations to our winner, Final FXR. Um, I'll be contacting you shortly to get this guy sent to you in the mail. So thank you everyone else who has entered. I do plan to do more of these in the future. Um, it's just a matter of when I can squeeze them in. So uh, stay tuned for that. Peace guys. <laughs>